Hello. Welcome to the channel. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our understandings and opinions about China Low Altitude Airspace Reform Scope and Scale for timely meeting Ehang's UAM business expansion or not. Although currently Ehang is focusing on air tourism, which by itself is a big market, urban air mobility UAM will eventually become Ehang's core and dominant business. As you may know, besides obtaining airworthiness certification, the opening of low-altitude airspace is also important for Ehang's UAM expansion. Traditionally, in China, flights in low-altitude airspace over populated areas are not allowed in general. Hereafter in this episode, UAM means flights in low-altitude airspace over populated areas. Going forward, as Ehang fans and investors, you may have concern about the low-altitude airspace regulations and restrictions for Ehang UAM business expansion. But UAM is still in very early stage, and low-altitude airspace over populated areas may be gradually opened with relevant low-altitude airspace reforms. It is good to investigate and know if the low-altitude airspace reforms scope and scale can meet the need of Ehang's UAM business expansion in China. First, about types of low-altitude flight zones available for UAM test and pilot operation. As with the case for airworthiness certification, commercial pilot UAM operation may progress gradually and in parallel with relevant regulation formulations and adoptions. From our observations, low-altitude flight zones for UAM may be divided into three types. Types of low-altitude flight zones for UAM Type 1 Whole Region Low-Altitude Airspace Management Reform Pilot Provinces the low-altitude airspace reform pilot provinces are designated by the Central Air Traffic Management Commission, which is a central government agency in charge of the low-altitude airspace management in China. The Central Air Traffic Management Commission consists of representatives from the State Council, the Military, Ministry of Transport, CAAC, and etc. We will elaborate a bit later for this and other types. Type 2. Civil UAV Aviation Test Bases, Test Areas the Civil UAV Aviation Test Bases, Test Areas, are designated by CAAC. Type 3. Special Case UAM Pilot Cities Slash Projects Special Case UAM Pilot Cities Slash Projects are designated by local governments, and their implementation plans submitted to relevant national government agencies for approval on a case-by-case -case basis. It should be noted that in addition to the flight zone approval, a route-specific permit may also need to be obtained from relevant approving government agencies. Next, let's see the provinces that have been designated as Type 1, Low Altitude Airspace Management Reform Pilot Province. Whole Region Low Altitude Airspace Management Reform Pilot Provinces. So far, there are three provinces that have been designated. Hunan Province. Hunan is the first province designated for the Low Altitude Airspace Management Reform. Changsha City in the province has UAM activities that have been reported before. For example, Ehang's partner Heli Intelligent under Heli Group has planned and conducted EH-216 flights in the city. Changsha Aviation Emergency Rescue Base with EH-216 aircraft is operated by Xiangjiang Group, a state enterprise. Jiangxi Province Jiangxi is the second province designated later as expansion. Anhui Province Anhui is the third province designated further later as expansion. These provinces may be potential regions for Ehang's next immediate UAM expansion. Next, let's see Type 2, Civil UAV Aviation Test Bases, Test Areas. Civil UAV Aviation Test Bases, Test Areas. So far, there are 13 cities that have been designated as the first batch. They are 1. Shanghai Jinshan 2. Hangzhou Zhejiang. 3. Zigong, Sichuan. 4. Hezhou, Guangxi. 5. Anyang, Hunan. 6. Nanjing, Jiangsu. 7. Tianjin Binhai New Area. 8. Yanqing District, Beijing. 9. Yulin, Shangxi. 10. Shenyang, Liaoning. 11. Dongying, Shandong. 12. Anqing, Anhui. 13. Ganzhou, Jiangxi. UAM activities may be performed in these test bases, test areas. Currently, the test bases, test areas, here mainly involve with UAV logistics for goods transport and delivery. 
But, as you may know, Hezhou in Guangxi province is a UAM pilot city for passenger transport, and the relevant infrastructure and AAV control dispatch center have been built there. Recently, EH216 has appeared at Canal Asian Games Park in Hangzhou, Zhejiang. Here is an image from a related video clip. In the image, here is the EH216 aircraft, and the text on the nearby banner here says, Sport Asian Games. Here is a photo of Canal Asian Games Park where the EH216 is parked. The EH216 is operated by Heli Intelligent, which is based in Guangzhou. Previously, Heli Intelligent has been reported to partner with a park management company in Shangsha, Hunan. Maybe, this time, Heli Intelligent will do the same at Canal Asian Games Park in Hangzhou, Zhejiang. The list of cities here may be potential areas for Ehang's next immediate UAM expansion. Next, let's see Type 3, Special Case UAM Pilot Cities Slash Projects. Special Case UAM Pilot Cities Slash Projects. Guangzhou. As you may know, Guangzhou has been approved as the first global citywide UAM pilot city for Ehang. Shenzhen. Shenzhen, also in Guangdong province, has the integrated airspace UAM operation pilot currently operated by Ehang partner Heli Eastern. Here is a map for Heli Eastern's vertiports in the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area. Shuzhou, Jiangsu. We have previously reported China's first city private EVTOL plane sharing by Ehang partner Tojoi in Shuzhou, Jiangsu. Nantong, Jiangsu. We have also reported low airspace flight permit for UAM over populated area in Nantong, Jiangsu. Local netizens have been excited about the UAM flights. This is illustrated by this video clip. Further, more broadly. Low altitude airspace management reform promoted in 14th five year plan by each specific province. Besides the type 1, designated provinces, each province may be encouraged to promote low altitude airspace management reform specific to its region. For examples, the following provinces have promoted low altitude airspace management reforms in their 14th five year plan. Jiangsu. Shandong, Guangxi, Inner Mongolia, Hunan, Shangxi, Gansu, Ningxia, Guangdong, etc. The local provincial or city governments may submit their low altitude airspace management reform plans to relevant national control agency for approval, and then start the implementation of their plans. Some of these provinces may also be potential candidates for Ehang's next immediate UAM expansion. Currently, Ehang has the tight cash balances and needs to control the cash burn. So, Ehang is focusing on air tourism only. The expansion beyond the Greater Bay Area has been conducted by Ehang's partners such as in Nantong, Shuzhou, Changsha, and etc. At this stage with the current production capacity, it is already great if Ehang can meet the demand for air tourism after obtaining the type certification. It is also good to know that there are plenty of low-altitude airspace candidate cities and provinces available for Ehang immediate UAM expansion if Ehang is ready in the near future, as shown by the above-mentioned and summarized three UAM flight zone types. Thanks for watching.